Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Warplanes Air Corp Overview. So this is the third installment of the same game pretty much in the series. It's like the only thing changing I notice are the planes themselves, maybe UI a bit in the main menu but then it feels like I'll be playing the same game over and over and I also would not be surprised if the overviews would come across samey. <laughs> There's just nothing else to talk about. So Warplanes Air Corp is a flight combat simulator game where in yet another installment you'll be soaring to the sky, fly with modern fighter jets and pilot helicopters, eviscerating every enemy you'll encounter. In the gameplay I opted to play with the jets because I always felt uneasy piloting the helicopters due to their just movements. Classically with the series the overall control system and plane steering mechanics are pretty well done, understandable and easy to get into in exchange for some lackluster graphics on the battlefields. Although this time around the sky looks pretty neat with additions of clouds and more realistic settings so I'll give them that. But again nothing's really changing, you're essentially paying for a different set of jets that could very well be DLCs to the original game. Instead the devs will be just releasing these small projects Projects with a concrete theme going on and not pack everything all together. At this point I kinda gave up playing on the series, this one is more enjoyable because of the modern twist on it, but in general I don't see the progression over the years and it might be just coming down to small details. It feels better overall, but at this point the initial quality shock is pretty much gone. Let's go pilot a jet! So now it seems like we have a different set of tutorials depending if you go with a helicopter setup or a fighter. I think fighter suits me more because I always was confused about helicopters how to fly them and stuff like that in any game ever. <laughs> Activate the appropriate aircraft on the left screen. We can immediately upgrade and customize the experience. Aha! But the simulation does nothing so whatever, I'll just do what again says to. Welcome pilot. I'm an onboard AI. My primary task is to report the status of onboard systems and inform you about potential threats. I've been also equipped with many useful training programs. In this training session, you will learn how to pilot and maneuver the aircraft. Grab the yoke with your virtual hand and move it in all directions. So the visuals aren't crazy. Not like they have ever been in warplanes. Grab the yoke and move it. I mean, maybe there were in previous installments, but not like the craziest. And for some reason, there's a resolution reflexes on the panel already here, so a bit weird. Additional steering adjustment of the aircraft tail is located on your left thumbstick. Move the left thumbstick left and right to operate the rudder. To increase or decrease speed, use the throttle on your left. You can also move the right thumbstick on your controller up and down. That is perfect setup for feed trucking. Fly through the markers. That's very mechanical, like we're going in a straight line. That's it. First marker behind you. Keep going. Oh la la. We suffered heavy losses. Abort mission. <laughs> Thing is that when you go down, it's kind of hard to go up, so... That's it. First marker behind you. Keep going. Abort mission. Flight leader down. Like, it's very sensitive. Yeah, like, you need to be very careful. Yeah, 
It works pretty well if you have a control over it. You're halfway there. Well done. How now? It's so smooth, but the first two tries were so bad. Oh, not through the city. Focus. You are entering the city. Now gently. No sudden moves. What the? <laughs> Congratulations. You have finished the flight tutorial. Okay, but there's still a lot of them, so... We'll just be doing one by one. Welcome to the aircraft shooting tutorial. Now we will focus on the automatic targeting system and the cannon. Automatic targeting system tracks the nearest enemy. Aim at the square in front of the target. Shoot with the right trigger on your controller when red sight icon appears on the square. Where is the target? Target locked. Aim at the square in front of the target. Shoot with the right trigger when red sight icon appears. Trying to do two things at a time. <laughs> Let's try to mark targets manually. Deactivate automatic targeting system using a button in your cockpit and mark targets by pressing the left trigger on your controller. Now try to destroy the approaching enemy. Press the left trigger on your controller to mark the target. Keep it within the targeting circle. Locate the target. What are you doing? Turn around, pilot. Oh, there are batteries. That's the first time I see it in this game. Locate the target. Target within the circle. Mark it by pressing the left trigger. Target locked. Line up the crosshairs and shoot on signal. Locate the target. We're not doing kamikaze. Locate the target. I mean, does it really matter? Like, it's just one more button going on, so automatic isn't that bad. Where the hell are they? I know Miss Ping around doesn't help. Target within the circle. Mark it by pressing the left trigger. Target locked. Line up the crosshairs and shoot on signal. Fire now. This is all missing. Target destroyed. Good job. Now destroy remaining enemies. If you don't feel like targeting manually, turn on auto aim back again. That is crazy. Target locked. I feel like I'm flying slower than them somehow. At least turning. That explains it. Target locked. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm just too far. So I need to wait for the red one. Fighter destroyed. Shooting tutorial complete. Great job. Prepare for the anti-tank missile tutorial. Learn to engage and destroy heavily armed ground forces. Switch to the appropriate weapon system. Press the B button on your controller or button in the cockpit. Anti-tank missile online. Weapon system ready. Locate the target and fly towards it. Markers on your display will guide you. Target locked. Try guiding the targeting circle to the enemy. Automatic targeting system will track it on its own. Press the right trigger on your controller to release the missile as you hear the confirmation sound. Fire. Locate the target. I like that the... Target behind you. You have to make a circle. Thank you. There are like clouds. Locate the target. Besides the actual 361. <laughs> Target locked. Fire. Ground target destroyed. Great job. Now destroy remaining targets with anti-tank guided missiles. Tank neutralized. Get off me! Target behind you. You have to make a circle. So aggressive. Oh, there's a map. What the hell? Follow the markers, approach the target, and destroy it with missiles. Target locked. Target destroyed! I took a hit! We suffered heavy losses. Abort mission. <laughs> Get off me! Ground target destroyed! Target behind you, you have to make a circle. Target locked. Target destroyed. Warning. Military convoy approaching. Destroy it with the missiles as well. If you want a bigger challenge, you can disable auto-targeting system. I'll try. I can't keep her up. Because you need to kind of wait for one missile to hit and then it switches to next target. Destroy all targets. So I feel like Manu might be more comfortable. Get off me! Why it's not working? Oh, I need to mark it manually. So then it doesn't make sense. Free aim could be nice as well. Target locked. I'm hit! APC neutralized. Truck immobilized. Ground target neutralized. Destroy all targets. Target locked. Neutralized. Neutralized. Ha, <laughs> one left. Lowering speed really helps in turning. I'm on the edge of Scala. Truck immobilized. Congratulations. You have completed training mission.
In this training session, we will practice use of air-to-air -air missiles. This is the most effective weapon for engaging hostile airborne targets. Switch to the appropriate weapon system. Press the B button on your controller or the button in the cockpit. Air-to-air -air missile online. Weapon system ready. Approach the target and try to keep it within the targeting circle. Automatic targeting system will track it on its own. Don't shoot and wait for my command. Yeah, but it's all the same, like... Those sections don't make sense to separate. I'm under fire! Target down! Note that hostile aircraft may deploy countermeasure flares when you have lock-on on it. Wait for the right moment to strike. The enemy is most vulnerable right after launching flares, or when its flares are depleted. Your machine is equipped with an automatic missile defense system. If you're looking for a challenge, you can fire countermeasure flares as well. Watch your head-up display for missile lock warning. Before we practice this, turn off the automatic flare release system. Press the blinking button in the cockpit. Target locked. Now launch the flares. Press the A button. Automatic flares enabled. Automatic flares disabled. Automatic flares enabled. Press the A button. Automatic flares enabled. Alright, well I'll have to finish here. And it doesn't feel like I played a lot. Simply because... It's just a lot of... Same stuff repeating over and over. So I wish the whole thing could be... Somewhat streamlined. But then again, you need to kinda change the setups and stuff in between so I guess that's fine. It is the same game over and over though in terms of the series. It's just it's just that the planes change which doesn't entice me to play really. Like there's no upgrade whatsoever over the years. It's just your personal preference what you like to fly with. But besides that, that's pretty much it. Controls per usual are pretty good, like even for a newbie as me, I can handle myself and things are rather understandable. But then again, it's nothing groundbreaking at this point. It feels like we're paying for extra flight systems instead of the actual game, so I don't necessarily care for this. Although for standalone, flight games are a rarity. It might be just going down to development preferences.